these are programs that we have. But Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke was questioned sharply by members of Congress Wednesday. A particular concern was whether the Fed's policies to stimulate the economy are increasing the risk of inflation in the coming months. Many of us fear that our monetary policy is on a difficult track. Bernanke said inflation remains low and blamed higher prices on strong offshore demand, not the Fed's policies. On the inflation front, we have recently seen increases in some highly visible prices, notably gasoline. Indeed, prices of many industrial and agricultural commodities have risen lately, largely as a result of the very strong demand from fast-growing emerging market economies, coupled in some cases with constraints on supply. The Fed's bond purchase program, QE2, has helped to stabilize and grow the economy, even though it comes with a $600 billion price tag. Bernanke defended QE2, saying it is needed to ease high unemployment and won't add to the country's fiscal woes. The Fed's purchases of longer-term securities are not comparable to ordinary government spending. In executing these transactions, the Federal Reserve acquires financial assets, not goods and services. Thus, these purchases do not add to the government's deficit or debt. The nation's debt woes were also at issue. Bernanke warned that Republicans should not play political games and stymie attempts to raise the debt ceiling. Doing so, he said, would hinder its ability to make good on debts. House Republicans have vowed to make deep spending cuts a precondition for raising the debt ceiling. Tim McGuire, the Associated Press.